PJ Masks and World Taekwondo. Join forces. Train like a hero. Master special techniques. Learn great values. With 12 world class Taekwondo heroes. Join the fun. Let's get active. Hi, moms and dads. I'm Nikki Viola, and I will be your host for today's discussion on how to motivate your kids to get physically active at home. And of course, this live stream is presented by PJ Mask in partnership with Smart Parenting. So in line with the brand's collaborative campaign with the World Taekwondo Federation, now let's get active. This live stream aims to engage kids with activities like Taekwondo so they can remain physically fit while staying safe at home. And with that, we invited pediatrician and child and public health specialist Dr. Martini Basco to talk about the importance of being active during this time. And of course, we have our two-time SEA Games gold medalist and Asian Games bronze medalist in Taekwondo as well, Ms. Pauline Lopez, to discuss and demonstrate how a sport like Taekwondo can help make physical activity exciting for kids. So welcome, Dr. Martini and Pauline, and uh, thank you so much for being here with us today. Hello, thank you so much for having us. I am so excited to be here and I can't wait to demonstrate some kicks today. Yes, likewise, and I do hope they'll find something interesting and informative with this presentation. All right, so again, that's our dear guests for today and for sure all of our viewers are excited to learn from all of you. All right, so before we start, of course, this uh, episode or this show, the views and opinions expressed on the show by the host and guests do not reflect the views of Smart Parenting, PG Mass, and World Taekwondo or its management. All right, so let's get this started. Okay, so as we all know, raising our children during these times is as challenging as it can get. And, you know, as a mom myself, I can actually attest to that. So with health, res with health restrictions in place, kids have been staying mostly at home all while adjusting to a distance learning. And while we enjoy spending time with them, staying in for almost a year can actually affect or take a toll on their physical and mental health. So now, Doc Martini, can you share with us how staying active can help kids deal with the challenges brought about by our pandemic? Yes, uh, during this time of the pandemic, it's quite challenging for kids to make a balance between having fun and playing and with their online academic activities, Nikki. And for most parents, they notice that most of these kids would be on their learning process while they are sitting down. And that would put too much stress in our muscles. So that my advice and opinion would be to have scheduled screen breaks during online classes. That would include only about three to four minutes of stretching and walking around to relax the muscles that have been tense during sitting down and online activities. But this will also ensure that your blood is pumping all over your body so that the kids will have more focus and concentration for their learning activities. Not only that, Nikki, if kids would have a daily exercise routine on an everyday basis, this will have so much benefit on their health. It would improve their mood. They'll be more outgoing and energized, more happy. Their sleeping patterns will be very much okay. And also their immune system will be a lot boosted. So there you go. All right. Thank you so much for that, Doc Martini. So now to better help our viewers and other kids, can you tell us this time, how much time should they spend moving in the day or exercising? And what type of activities are suitable for their age? All right. The World Health Organization has made a recommendation for kids less than five years of age, meaning five years and younger, World Health Organization advised that kids of this age group should have at least three hours. That's equivalent to 
180 minutes of physical activities during the day. That would include their play activities like jumping around, walking, dancing, and even running around the house. And kids five years and older, including teenagers, should engage themselves in at least one hour of physical activity per day. That would include uh, star jumping, like a planking, push-ups, no? and even the burpees. No? And one good tip for teenagers and older children is that there should be at least an increase in heart rate so that these kids would perspire and an increase in breathing for these kids. Not to the point of exhaustion, but only an increase in heart rate, perspiration, and increase in their respiration. Nikki? All right. Thank you so much for that, Doc Martini. So now we want to hear from our uh, Taekwondo medalist right here, Ms. Pauline. So Pauline, how does a physical activity like Taekwondo help improve your health and overall well-being? Well, I've been doing Taekwondo for so many years and I've seen, I've honestly seen how my physical, mental, emotional, and even my spiritual health has improved. And for one, there was definitely an increase in my um, muscle strength, flexibility, flexibility, and of course my balance in my sport. And along with this, if I'm strong and my muscle is intact, I can compete well in training and of course in my competition. And in my sport, um, we need to hold a certain weight class. So this sport has taught me to manage my weight, to eat healthier and have a healthier lifestyle. And of course, um, with all the training that I have, it reduces the risk of heart disease and other conditions that can increase susceptibility, of course, during this time. As for my mental health and my well-being, Taekwondo has helped me, uh, has helped give me something to look forward to every day with, you know, writing down my short-term, long-term goals, um, training every day. And apart from making physical activities during this critical period, I've seen how it hel has helped me reduce my anxiety and stress. So, <laughs> All right, Pauline, thank you so much. You know, as early as now, a lot of our viewers, whether parents or kids, are, of course, learning a lot from everything that you've been uh, telling or uh, saying to all of us. So thank you so much for that. So moms and dads, uh, there you have mm -hmm. it. Regular physical activities not only help improve your child's physical health, but also their mental well-being. All right, so with that said, can you share with us your child's favorite physical activity, and how does this benefit them from during this time? So we will wait for your answers in the comments section below, all right? And oh, maybe we'll read it later on. So we're all so excited for your answers, all right? So type it, type it right now. Okay, so now let's move on to our next segment. You know, we all know how kids are like at home these days, they're often busy playing with their gadgets or watching videos online. And so when you ask them to try to exercise or do physical activities, they would often say no or make up excuses not to do it. So now, Doc Martini, what tips can you give to parents like me when it comes to encouraging our kids to, you know, get moving at home? Okay, parents like you and like myself should understand that participating in physical activities for kids, they drop dramatically when the child increases in age and their grade school increases also as they increase in year level in school. So this is quite important that we as parents should integrate a regular schedule for kids on their physical activity level. This will mean that we have a proper time for them. This will also include time for rest so that we don't get that kids to be burned out just by doing all of these physical activities, you know. And also, parents should accompany their kids, Nikki, in doing physical activities, right? So parents yeah. like ourselves should also be physically active so that it will become a role model for us parents and an engaging activity for kids, a bonding moment for that. And lastly, parents should also be aware that there are age-specific and age-appropriate activities for kids, not too challenging and not too easy. So we include the element of fun in all of these things. Okay, Nikki? 
All right. Thank you so much for that. So parents, you've heard it. We should all set an example to our kids when it comes to uh, moving around and exercising. All right. So thank you so much for uh, those uh, insightful tips, Doc. So now we want to ask Colleen for some uh, fun and exciting activities. These time to, you know, suggest all of our dear viewers today. So there are so many activities you can do, but as a Taekwondo athlete, of course, I would most certainly recommend this sport for kids and parents as well to make it even more fun who are looking for a regular physical activity they can enjoy doing together. In fact, PJ Masks and World Taekwondo Federation has a collaborative campaign called Let's Get Active. And through this, kids will find the sport fun and suitable for their age. So PJ Masks, yes, the hugely popular children's show are the campaign's mascots. It's playful, it's thrilling and full of action-packed adventure. Similar to the values kids learn, kids can learn through sports. PJ Masks teaches kids to do good, make friends, and be a team player. And as part of that campaign, a digital tutorial series has been uploaded on YouTube where parents and their kids can learn Taekwondo to beginners with their favorite PJ Masks heroes and World Taekwondo athletes, including myself. So I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for that, Pauline, of course. And I think me and Doc will actually uh, check yeah. that out. Yes, right? I hope you guys can check it out. We will, we will. Okay. Okay. All right, so Pauline, once again, thank you so much for walking us through the Let's Get Active campaign from a PJ Mask and World Taekwondo Federation. And as a Taekwondo athlete, and a two-time SEA Games gold medalist and Asian Games bronze medalist. Now, the question for you is, how do you think Taekwondo can actually benefit the kids in the new normal and beyond? Well, in this time, it can definitely boost a child's confidence and self-esteem, all of which are needed by kids to cope with the challenges in this new normal. And even for me, during you know the one year of staying home, it definitely helped me find myself again to boost my confidence, let alone for kids who are starting something brand new. So when done regularly, kids can improve their concentration, focus, and even leadership skills with Taekwondo. And lastly, this form of martial art offers great discipline to those who are willing to make time to master it. So um, the thing that I've learned in Taekwondo, and I still keep it today, is SMITE. So which is self-confidence, modesty, mm -hmm indomitable spirit, perseverance, and lastly, etiquette. So that's why I remember it. Smite. S-M-I-T-E. <laughs> wow! Yes, you can remember it as well. Smile, right? Smile. All right, so... Smite. Yeah, Smite. Uh, right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Pauline. And, you know, uh, to all of our uh, dearest viewers, you know, asking our child to get active at home is not easy at all and as parents we should learn to lead by example like what we've said earlier and do some physical activities with our children from time to time so that's one of the ways to do is yes, according to what doc martini has said earlier so to our uh, dear viewers how about you do you have some uh, fun tips that you can share with other parents as well to encourage their kids to be physically active so again we're encouraging everyone to post your answers in the comment section below all right so this part is pretty exciting and i'm looking forward to this i'm sure doc martini is looking forward to this segment as well yeah what do and we have yes this is actually the much awaited segment for today doc and to all of our dear viewers because our two times sea games gold medalist and asian games bronze medalist in taekwondo pauline lopez will actually demonstrate Whoa. Some five wonder moves. <laughs> yeah, That's that can be included yeah. in a kid friendly exercise routine. So, Pauline, take it away. Doc, right. read as well. Yes. <laughs> okay, so before we begin, I am just going to uh, let you guys know ahead of time what we're going to do. So, one, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a fighting stance, your own fighting stance, and I'm going to teach you guys three kicks, which is the stretch kick, front kick, and 45 degree kick. So first, we're going to start with the fighting stance and then the stretch kick. So let me show you. So first, <laughs> this is a fighting stance. Feet back. One this way. How it looks sideways is like this. Okay? So the first, the first kick, I'm going to use my right leg and swing it right up as high as I can. Of course, 
as as high as you can. So try not to get injured. Just keep your hamstring stiff. So I'm gonna count. One and back. Two and back. One. Two. Now you guys can try that. So as soon as you can become comfortable with it, you can go right and left and continue to do it over and over. Next, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the front kick. The front kick is you just lift your knee up and extend out, bring your back and down. I'm gonna demonstrate. Knee up, kick forward and back. Knee up, kick forward and back. One more time, knee up, uh -huh. forward, and back. Now, <laughs> once you get more comfortable with it, now we can do right leg, left leg. And lastly, we're gonna do a 45 degree kick. This one is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. It's just like the front kick, but we're gonna angle our knee 45 degrees, okay? First kick, 45 degree, extend, and back. Sideways, 45 degree, extend, and back. Wow. <laughs> so now, once you get more comfortable with it, you can add a shout, and we can go right and left. And I will demonstrate it. Are you guys ready? <laughs> ready? Yes, we are. Go. With the shout. <laughs> ha! Ha! One more time. <laughs> the energy. I can feel your energy. Okay. Ha! Ah. Ah. I there you go. It. I hope you guys can try this at home. You guys can shout as long as your parents will allow it. And of course, parents, I That's hope right. you guys can do these with your kids. It's going to be so fun and so engaging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Release Before it. Can I ask a question, Nikki? Yeah. What does the shouting do? Does it scare the spirits away? Does it add more confidence? What does the yeah. shouting do? It made me scared. <laughs> Center for we shout because it's it's called a key up, so it comes from our center. When yeah. it adds oh, okay. strength, it adds more oomph when you fight, especially in our sport. So it's a Korean it. martial art, and this is something that's you know from oh. centuries ago. And so the shout adds that mm, like that extra push, and especially like the, oh. when I'm training or competing, when I yeah. have that extra shout, it's like let's. Go. Yeah, the energy Go is over here. Yes. yes, we should. We should do that soon, Doc. We should try it out. All right. So, Doc Martini, thank you. And of course, Pauline, for those amazing moves. Thank you so much. Uh, I would you. I would love to try it soon, of course. When my baby grows up, I will show her Yay. this video. Teach her those moves as well. All right. So, thank you for teaching our viewers and their kids how to do those moves. Thank you so much, Pauline, for that. All right. So those super easy to learn kicks and turns just make Taekwondo even more exciting and fun. Right, moms and dads? And I hope you and your kids had fun trying out Pauline's moves at your home as well. And if you really did try these yourselves, which Taekwondo move did you enjoy doing with your kids and why? So go ahead and share your answers in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you guys. All right. so. Now that we've reached the end of our discussion, it's time to for our viewers this time to ask some questions related to the topics we've covered. So here are the few questions that we've gathered earlier. So I think the first question goes out to uh, Pauline. So one viewer said, my son used to play basketball and other kid-friendly sports with his friends pre-pandemic. Now that he can't go outside and be with his playmates, he has lost interest in being physically active. So how can I make him fall in love with sports again? I think um, it's hard to make someone fall in love with sports, right? But I think when, especially a child, can fall in love with sports again, once a parent makes them try different physical activities until they find that one specific one that interests them, and I think parents will know right away once that activity makes a child smile or their eyes are lighting up when, you know, for me, when I was a child, I know my eyes were glowing and lighting up, showing to my parents, I really want to do something. So I feel like 
during this time, it might be difficult at first, but then again, there's a process to it. And I think that's how one can fall in love with something. All right. And of course, we have to learn to fall in love with that process as well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Pauline, for that. And I think uh, this next question this time goes out to uh, uh, Doc Martini, for Doc Martini, rather. All right. So, Doc, here's the question uh, from one of our viewers. I've been physically active since the lockdown has started, but no matter what I do, I can't get my daughter to exercise and do some physical activities with me. So what do you suggest okay. I try to convince her? All right, this is pretty um, interesting, so Doc. Pretty interesting and pretty challenging as well. Yeah. Well, if kids would see the physical activity as challenging and as work and they're not having fun, then we'll be having difficulties trying to motivate them to participate. This is one secret tip. Why don't we engage our kids in calorie burning household chores like <laughs> sweeping the floor mopping the garage yeah washing or the even dishes. cleaning the car yes Ooh, washing yeah. the dishes no like mr miyagi watch right and watch left <laughs> is it right pauline uh -huh. <laughs> and we can guys this disguise our chores with physical activities so kids will be having fun without them knowing it, that it's already a physical and engaging activity. All right. That's uh, interesting tips. And I will keep that in mind as well. Thank you so much for that, uh, right. Doc Martin, for your advice. All right. So now for our next question. Again, it's for uh, Doc Martin. So, Doc, let's do this, okay? <laughs> and yes. I'm sure you're ready for this one. All right. All right, so the next question, a viewer is asking, I have a five-year-old child who has asthma. So oh. what exercises can she try doing without compromising her health condition? All right, before anything else, children with asthma has the goal treatment of being able to perform normal or near normal child activities. Now, if the asthma is quite severe, then these patients should have their controller or maintenance medications for asthma. But otherwise, these kids can perform and engage themselves in physical activities. Like for instance, for outdoor activities, they can have golf, no? leisurely biking around the block, mm -hmm. even hiking. They can do that no? on their own physical activities and exertion. But for indoor activities, I would advise they can go into yoga and even martial arts, like what Pauline is doing. All right. Thank you so much for that, Doc Martini. All right. So now uh, another question uh, is for Pauline this time. So the question goes like this. My kids love PJ Masks more than anything. So I'm sure they'll enjoy learning Taekwondo from this day on. But we know how kids can get bored pretty fast. So what tips can you give them so they'll stay interested in Taekwondo? So my advice would be to find a coach that will suit their kids' needs. So there are different activities during training that can help them improve and at the same time enjoy. Joining competitions will also help. So there are competitions, not you know physical competitions, but online competitions that kids and of course parents can um, put them into nowadays. And having a goal and something to look forward to will keep them interested and especially hooked in the sport. All right. Thank you so much for that, Pauline. And I'm sure uh, with, with your tip, uh, they will also gain confidence with, you know, joining competitions, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Pauline, for that. And I think we have another question for you, <laughs> Pauline. So, oh, <laughs> okay. So this one, my daughter has always been interested in martial arts. Wow. And as parents, we want to support her. So what equipment should we get at home so she can learn this sport? And what are the online lessons she can take during this time? Okay. So, yes. Yay. Uh, you go, girl. I'm so excited that she said her, their daughter. <laughs> so the Philippine Taekwondo Association actually offers a lot of online classes for children of all ages. They have virtual classes and supplemental videos that can help children learn and train in the comfort of their own home. 
So this is what I love about my sport. The beauty of Taekwondo is that you can do it anywhere. Small mm-hmm. space, big space, and with minimal equipment. So, of course, having rubber mats will definitely protect them. But in the PTA online classes, it is not truly required. So as long as the parents yield that their uh, training environment is safe, then, you know, go ahead. And I can't wait for that, for your daughter to do Taekwondo. That's going to be so fun. Yes, for sure. Go for it. Go for it, girl. Baby girl. Soon. <laughs> yes. right, so. All right, Colleen. Thank you so much for that answer. And uh, right now, again, I would like to thank all of our dear guests for today. We have our pediatrician and child and health public specialist, uh, Dr. Martini Basco. And of course, our two-time SEA Games gold medalist and Asian Games bronze medalist in Taekwondo, Pauline Lopez. Thank you so much for being here with us today and for sharing your insights and expertise in our discussion. And of course, I would also like to thank our dear viewers for watching and actively participating with us today. So now I hope uh, you learned the importance of staying active at home as much as I did. And, you know, with exciting activities, uh, just like Taekwondo, it will be easier for you to encourage your kids to get up and get moving. So not to mention how they actually enjoy learning some moves with their favorite PG mask and Taekwondo heroes. So if you'd like to know more about engaging your kids with physical activities like Taekwondo, you can check out the Let's Get Active YouTube series. And you may also follow PJ Mask on Facebook for more information. Plus, don't forget to follow Smart Parenting on Facebook too for updates and engaging talks on parenting, kids' health, and more. So once again, my name is Nikki Viola. I had so much fun today. And Thank you so much for joining me. So have a great day, everyone. And thank you. Thank you. Bye. PJ Masks and World Taekwondo. Join forces. Train like a hero. Master special techniques. Learn great values. With 12 world-class Taekwondo heroes. Join the fun. Let's get active. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out more episodes from our Let's Get Active campaign with PJ Masks and the World Taekwondo. See you soon.